Hey guys, Coppersaurus here, welcome to a new video. Today we have five new sovereigns, and they are all Gillick sovereigns. So one of these out of the capsule I already had, I think it was a 65 maybe, and the other five are new to me. So the Gillick sovereigns are named that way because of the designer of the portrait, Mary Gillick. So this is Elizabeth, the current Queen of England, and we have a row of 10 of these that uh, were produced. So I've got eight out of the 10 available dates. There were a couple of years in the early 60s that weren't produced. So you've got some late 50s into the end of the 60s where these were produced. This is a sixpence coin holder. You slide your coin out, it's got a little spring in there. And uh, yeah, pick that up for a bit of fun. Just saw it in a local shop. But back to the sovereigns. They are all full sovereigns and uh, not all full sovereigns, all full sovereigns. Sounded like I said awful there. <laughs> so anyway, Gillick sovereigns and like I say, they're quite a good one to go for a date run of because there's only 10 in the series, if you like. And being relatively modern, they're you know not super hard to get hold of. So I was able to pick up these five at 3% spot, 3% uh, over spot. So nice low premium coin, fractional gold, just under the quarter ounce. And uh, what's not to like really? So you see these are a nice yellowy color. They do have that yellowy color that the more modern ones don't. So another advantage with the Gillicks over say the older Victorias, for example, or younger Victorias, because they've not been around as long, they've often been, you know, looked after better and they weren't circulated. So you find them in good condition quite often. And for that reason, you know, it's quite a popular uh, coin to pick up. And the condition of these ones is pretty good if you ask me. So I'm definitely no expert in grading, but uh, you know, there's no big den dents or scratches or anything like that. You know, good looking coins. And like I say, they all weigh right. They're, uh, you know, not circulated or bashed around. Two that I bought on the left in the capsules, they were from Hat and Garden Metals. You know, condition was described as better than bullion. And yeah, I'd agree with that. Very, very nice condition. Uh, one of them was from a local coin store, which again, he always, um, you know, he doesn't have like a, a second grade. It's a good condition or it's, you know, for scrap, it's melted. So, you know, you can always trust going to local dealers because you can see what you're buying before you pick it up as well. In terms of the other five, like I say, I got those from First Sovereign. And again, I could see those, you know, I, I picked them out of the bunch. I just got to uh, pick certain dates out of a, a big rook of coins that they had. So that was, uh, yeah, happy with that. Um, in terms of the, you know, best value, you sometimes get deals, like I say, the Hat and Garden Metals. They had the, you know, option to choose um, a best value of a certain monarch or portrait. Um, if you go to the likes of Bullion by Post, for example, you can often choose individual dates. So now that I've only got two dates to pick up out of the 10, yeah, it's getting a bit more tempting, you know. I'm going to, I'm patient, you know, I'm not in too much of a rush to grab the other two. Like I say, they're, they're only Bullion Sovereigns, but it would be nice to uh, pick up a little set as a little mini target. I am, you know, I am uh, <laughs> threatening to just collect the 2022s this year, and I've made a bit of a dent in that. Uh, but I've also ended up picking up quite a lot of shields. So my stacking plans have changed a little bit already. You know, we're not even halfway through the year, but uh, we're accumulating more and more gold. So we're going in the right direction. That's the main thing. So everything's positive, but uh, it's good to adapt, you know, adapt your plans to suit the environment if you like. So that's about it for today's pickup. Hope you like the Gillicks. And if you have a favorite monarch, let me know. Do you think the Gillicks are better than the Youngheads? You know, what would you take? So here's a young head for comparison and pretty similar. I'd say if I had, you know, the choice of two and they were both the same condition wise, you know, if they're both great condition, I'd probably go with the Victorias just because they're older. And, you know, in, in, in my eyes are a bit more scarce because they've, you know, been on the earth longer. More things could have happened to them. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon.